Welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whichever is you today. And welcome to, welcome back to the ultimate Everglow ranking where I go from beginning to most recent in their official discography. Song by song, give my thoughts and print to a list most favorite to least favorite, which you can find in the pinned comment section below the story so far. Big love to K pop in Utah, guys. K pop in Utah, I dedicated this series to him uh, because, I mean, he, he literally like gifted me going to see Everglow live um, and meet and greet them. And through meeting and greeting them, I'm going to do it again. I'm not even sorry. That happened. And of course it doesn't want to focus. Why are you focusing on my eyes? My eyes aren't there. So. Zombie Hunter. I almost went to an Everglow concert. I'd recommend it. I'd recommend it. Uh, here we go then. Now. Let me tell you, out of this list, where I have heard before, I have heard Pirate. I may have heard Don't Speak, if they did it live. I've heard Slay. I've heard Zombie. All the other songs, I don't think I've heard before. Right. I've not heard Pirate or the B-sides. Oh, Daniel, you've not heard these. Wow. I have thoughts on Pirate. I've not heard it for a while, to keep it as fresh as possible, but I actually checked it out. Um... Pretty early on last year, like into the into the channel and everything like that. Pretty early on, so pirate. They will be simping by the way I should have said. I like this bit too. There's a reason I'm saying this. I'll, I'll explain why after, after the song. See on as a record, by the way. Me. 
They spit. I'll be talking a lot about that section in a, mo in a moment. I feel the same way about this song that I did a year ago. That's interesting. I still feel the same way about this song. That's very interesting. Love that logo, by the way. As as uh, Daniel just said, M really cool MV. I'm looking for. I haven't checked this out before, by the way. I'm looking forward to checking that out. Um, really cool MV. Really cool visuals. I mean, they're all. They Do I need to say they're all beautiful? Let me tell you guys. If you think they're beautiful on screen. In person, I can't even say. I can't even say. Uh, right. I I have some thoughts on that song. Uh, I have some thoughts. Let me get a list up, first of all. I do have some thoughts on that song. I. It's not one of my favourite title tracks. Let me say that. I, that might be a hot take. I don't know. Um, it's not one of my favourites. And let me tell you why. I really enjoy the verses. I think it has really good rap verses from EU and Aicha. Um, the sky is blue. The grass is green. Uh, I really like the build up. Girls all over the I, I really enjoy that build up. I'm not a fan of the drop of the chorus. Always felt like it's an anti chorus, which it sort of is. Um but I dunno. I've just never been too much of a fan of that chorus. However, you saw me going a bit crazy near the end. When I checked that song out for the first time, and I can I can say that my thoughts on it are the same now. When I checked that song out for the first time, I was like, something's missing from this chorus. I don't know what, but something's missing from this chorus. And then the song carries on, and then the last chorus gives you that crescendo, and it adds those elements into the chorus. And I'm like, oh my god, why wasn't this the chorus the whole time? And I understand that the last chorus, it is great to add those elements that weren't in the original choruses, because it, because it, it adds that progression to the song and everything like that. However... I do think that if those elements were in the original first and second chorus, that song goes up a lot more for me. And then if you just make more of a crescendo in another way of that last chorus. It's just something I've always thought with this song. I've just never loved the I'm a pirate. I, I've never loved that section, to be totally honest. L I really enjoy other aspects of it. I've never been in love with that, that section. Um, so anyway, Daniel, some parts of the song are fantastic, the chorus is my least favourite of all the title tracks, the pre-chorus is amazing. Pretty much echoing my, my sentiments there. Um, I'm just not a fan of that chorus, but that last chorus, when you add those elements in, it's like, oh, why wasn't this? I don't know, I, I, I get why, because they want to make that crescendo of it, but I don't know. I just would, would have added something into those, those first two choruses myself. Um, Laverius, I really like Pirate. Not my favourite, but really cool. I enjoy it, guys. I'll say that. I enjoy it. Um, it's one of my least favourite title tracks on them. I'll say that without a doubt. But I do still enjoy it. It's still got so many different elements that I enjoy, like the pre-chorus and everything like that. But the last chorus is great. But it's like, oh, where has this been? And, like, for that to be at the end and for you to go, oh, you don't really want that. You want that moment way before in the song, I think. Um... Daniel will end up quite low for me, I think. Uh, La Varys Last Chorus is way better for sure. Honestly, guys. Like, I, I, I'll quickly play, actually, right? Let me play the the first chorus and then show you the differences in the in the last chorus. Well, I was needing a good time in there. And it's an, excuse, it's an excuse to look at these absolutely beautiful women as well, like I suppose. And uh, don't internet, don't you start. You're onto that. It's an anti chorus, I understand that. Right? And now you go to. Look at it, it's the most replayed. It's the most replayed, and it's for a reason, right? Then you go to the last chorus. Not this bit. This bit's awesome, but this isn't the bit that I'm talking about. Here it comes. Hear that synth in the back? Those melodic parts in the back? It works so much better. 
And they've done the classic thing at the end there of like mixing the pre-chorus instrumental with that like vocal part of the chorus. And I get it, I get it. You want to make a crescendo of it and it works great. But those earlier choruses are lacking for me. That's all I'm saying. Um, right. I gotta rank it though. I'm gonna start from bottom to top for this. I'd put above D plus one. You don't know me. No lie, salute. Because that's the thing, guys. The aspects of it I like, I really like. Uh, good boy, moon, hush. Please, please. Mm. Yeah. That's where it goes to me. That's where it goes to me. It's, it's, I have a complicated relationship with it's like a relationship status on Facebook. I have a complicated relationship with that song, guys. I love parts of it. But unfortunately, as I've said before, if the chorus is lacking for me a little bit, it does, like... If a, if a verse isn't so great, or a bridge isn't so great, or a pre-chorus isn't so great, it does knock the songs down in, in ways. It does knock it down for me, personally, like, if a chorus is lacking a bit, though. So, yeah. But anyway... I want to check out this one take choreography because that choreography is always amazing. So, Mega Knight, the pre-chorus was my favorite part of the song and the instrumental of the song. Absolutely, the pre-chorus is great. And that's the thing, the pre-chorus instrumental is what's used in that last chorus. It's, it's another reason why that last chorus works so well. So anyway, this is one take, I've never checked this out, um, and their choreography is always bloody amazing. <laughs> By the way, I, I'm sorry to Captain Obvious, Aisha looks... Aisha. Seriously, their choreography. And the choreography of the chorus is... I'm so sorry guys, I can't take my eyes off her. She's so distracting. <laughs> and they're all, all of them are beautiful as well, but she's, she's my bias for a reason, you know what I mean? I love that this is one take, by the way. I love this bit, this pre-chorus is so good. With she on vocals. And it gets great, it, it builds it up really well, you know, that you're like, oh, you know, this bit too. And, from, and it's only my opinion, of course, some people may love the chorus. And then you're like, oh, that's my thoughts on it anyway. No worries, no worries Daniel. See you in a bit. I love this, love the rap faces. Look at the choreography, man. Such a good pre chorus. A tiny ears. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I was vibing to that. I, I think it's the choreography. I don't know, guys. I, it's complicated with this song, man. It always has been. Great gym song, though. I said that. Great gym song. Like, it's not a miss, this song. Don't think that. It's just, there's definitely things that. I would have preferred in it if that makes any sense. And like this. It's so good, this last chorus! I 
literally can't take my eyes off it, man. God, sorry guys, sorry guys. And again, the, the, the other five are stunning. I can I can vouch for that. I've seen them live. I've, I've literally said hello to them. I can vouch for it. But my God, dude, she, she, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I love that. I love the fact that that was one take. I love the fact that you got all that choreography in there. Um, Everglow choreography, man, is insane. My my person, if you don't count, we're talking strictly choreography, my my favorite choreography from Everglow is um is is first. First is my favorite choreography from Everglow, I would say. Uh, but this isn't 